This is Bill Bragman with Yak Gear and we're going to go over how to install your Deluxe Anchor Trolley. The Yak Gear Deluxe Anchor Trolley comes with two pulleys. The pulleys and the Anchor Trolley system allow you to deploy your anchor or your drift chute anywhere from the bow to the stern of your kayak and allow you to set up that perfect fishing angle depending on the wind and the current. When you're installing your pulleys for your Deluxe Anchor Trolley, you want to come right down below where the gunnel meets the side of the kayak, but as high as possible on that edge. With the design of the Yak Gear Deluxe Anchor Trolley, your rope is going to stay all along this edge. You're not going to have a problem with your trolley rope coming over the top uh, and getting in way of your paddling or actually your access in and out of the kayak. What I always do is I always put my well nuts on uh, the back of my screws on the actual pulley itself. I'll use that as my marking point. With well nuts, you use a 3 8 inch drill bit. Always remember when you are using well nuts, do not use any silicone because the silicone will actually make the well nuts slip when you go to tighten them. So I've drilled my holes. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pulley in the holes. Remember that the pulley wheel itself goes towards the middle. The angled end will always go towards the stern or towards the bow of your kayak. Push your well nuts in and then start turning your screws. One of the things you want to keep in mind is the position of your pulley. I always install them about 12 inches from the stern or back of your kayak and then also about 12 inches from the front or bow of your kayak. Trolleys are also great to use on canoes. Once again, tighten fully until you feel your screws are totally tightened. Because of the well nut being a rubber seal on the inside, it is waterproof. The next step for installing your trolley is to install your pad eye. What the pad eye is used for is there's two lines of your deluxe anchor trolley. There is your actual trolley line is what you move to move it back and forth. And then there's the anchoring line, which is the line that your anchor is connected to. So for the trolley line, we want to make sure that your trolley line, like some other trolleys, doesn't end up coming over the top of your gunnel. So we're going to mount it right on the edge, similar to where we installed our pulley. There's a couple of different methods. If you have inside access, you can use the screw and the lock nut that are provided. I don't have inside access, so I'm going to use the tri-grip rivets that come standard with the kit. I'm going to use my pad eye as my template, marking both holes. Now you'll notice that I've put it at an angle. The pad eye that's about uh, one-third of the way from the stern I always have angled toward the top of it angled towards the stern. The pad eye that I'm going to install one third of the way from the bow will be actually angled at the opposite angle where the top is going towards the bow. I use my 3 16 drill bit when I'm using my rivets. If I was using screws, I would use a 1 8 inch drill bit. I'm going to use silicone on the holes. This will make sure that the final installation is waterproof. Take my rivet, go through my pad eye, put it in the hole. I take my second rivet once again through the pad eye into the hole. I'm going to use a rivet tool and the rivet tool that I always use is the rivet tool that I can pick up at either Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store. Typically you'll find these cost right about $10. And I'll take just a little more silicone and just go into the hole where the shaft broke out clean.
As I mentioned, this is the stern pad eye, so it's facing the stern. I would also install a bow pad eye. Which... The next you'll want to install after you've put both pad eyes and both uh, pulleys on is the zigzag cleat. The zigzag cleat is one of the more important parts because it allows you to stop your trolley line anywhere along uh, the way. Sometimes you may want to throw your feet over the side and you'll want your trolley or your anchor to be directly out to the side. And other times because of the wind and the current, you may have your trolley, your anchor line only two feet forward or two feet back from the middle. That's what's so nice about the deluxe anchor trolley from Yak Gear. It gives you a lot of opportunities to set the exact correct fishing angle. But what I'll do is I'll use the holes in the mini zigzag cleat. And with the mini zigzag cleat, it comes with two self-tapping screws. You'll notice all I'm going to do is put a little silicone on the back. I'm going to set it right where I want it to be. Just give it a nice push and it'll sort of set there for you. This is the self-tapping screw that comes with the kit. I'm going to go ahead and line it up. Do not over tighten it, just get it to where it's in. And then I'll take my Phillips head screwdriver and finish snugging it up all the way. Now what we're going to do is run our rope. So you'll take your rope and you'll thread it through the pad eye that's closest to the bow and closest to the stern. And then you'll take it and put it down through the pulley from the top down. And what that will do is you'll have two loose ends. Every trolley comes with what we call an anchor tether. It's a heavy duty uh, nylon triangle. You'll want to now connect your anchor tether to either side of the end of the rope. And you're going to most likely have to shorten your rope down. But all I use is a fisherman's knot on one side. And I'll, I'll pull about 12 inches of the anchor trolley rope through. Loop over and over. Come through the first loop. Back through the loop that I've just made. and tighten it down. Now, the reason we make a fisherman's knot is so that if your anchor trolley line tightens or loosens, one side is always adjustable. On the other side, the kit comes with shrink wrap and two hog rings. So thread the rope, thread, thread the shrink wrap over the rope. You can actually set your triangle using your zigzag cleat. Take your hog ring, put it in your pliers, get it over both lines, pull pretty snug, and then crimp down. You want to do both hog rings fairly close. Slide your shrink wrap over. You can use a hair dryer or a lighter. Shrink your shrink wrap down. Trim your line off. And then I always seal off the end of the line as well. Just want to show you how to use your deluxe anchor trolley once it's been installed. Um, as we talked about, 
We've installed two pulleys, one 12 inches from the stern, one 12 inches from the bow. We've added a guide pad eye so that the, you'll notice how our trolley does not come over uh, into the cockpit where you're actually paddling. We've installed a zigzag cleat and we installed our anchor tether. And one thing that I always do is the flush mount that is behind me on the right, uh, I use to store my anchor. The reason I do it on the right side is because I cast right-handed and I don't want a fishing pole that potentially will catch my lure as I'm casting. I'll always keep my extra fishing pole on the left or in my build-a-crate system on my mill crate where it's vertical and not in the way. So what I do is, is I keep my anchor rope sort of looped together and you'll notice it's tucked right next to my seat when my anchor's not in use. At the end what I've done is the loop that I made for the add a loop or if I'm using it as single I've put my carabiner on and then attached it to my anchor tether. Now what will happen is, is depending on the current or the wind, the perfect anchoring may be in this position. Once again, what you would do to lock it in that position is to go back to your zigzag cleat and lock your trolley line in that position and then that'll lock it in place. If I wanted to go all the way to the back, I would leave it about three to four inches away, but I would still lock my trolley line within my zigzag cleat. One of the things that a deluxe anchor trolley does for you, a lot of uh, kayak anglers now like to drift. Well, when you drift, if you were to put your uh, line on a single point, what happens is you may find that your kayak will swing back and forth. Uh, and not allow you to keep the proper angle for fishing. By having an anchor trolley on it, by having two anchor points and the, and the anchor line in a Y configuration, it actually allows to, the boat to float evenly across the water. Now, depending on the tide or the current or the winds, this may be the perfect position. But once again, once I find that perfect position, I always lock my trolley line in place with using my zigzag cleat. On the same fact, some anglers like to turn sideways, hang their feet off the side of their kayak and fish that way. In a lot of cases, you'll have your trolley uh, anchor line in this position and your trolley line locked into your zigzag cleat this way. Depending on the wind and the tide and the current, you may actually be moving your anchoring position all the way to the bow. But once again, once it's there, always remember to lock it in with your zigzag cleat. Wow, wow, wow.